so hey friends in this video we are going to see the date first search in adjacency list okay so the what date first search actually is it will select any one uh, adjacent vertices okay and go to it it will not um, push um, it will not print all the adjacent vertices it will just go to the depth okay the depth it um, reaches it um, the depth of the graph from the starting vertex okay uh, if you want to know more about dfs i have already created i already discussed it in the adjacency matrix video whenever we are going in that video we, we are also find the dfs okay now for this video i am only just giving you the code and how to code it uh, now you i know you will have the idea about what depth first search is it is uh, just selecting any one vertex uh, suppose it is 3 then it will go to the any one adjacent node there is only one so it will go to 2 so it will from 2 it will go to it can go to 1 and 0 also but not reverse because 3 is already being visited so it will find from unvisited vertex from 2 so and it can go uh, to any of the vertex so suppose it will say uh, if it select 0 then it can also uh, from 0 uh, there are two unvisited that is 1 and 4 so from 0 it can also go to 1 and it can also go to 4 suppose it will go to 4 then um, it will go to 4 and from 4 there is no any adjacent vertex means we have reached the depth of this graph okay so it will backtrack and go to 0 from and see whether from 0 there is any node or any vertex that is been visited and print it okay in this way uh, after printing all the nodes it will backtrack and come to the starting point okay so in this way the depth first search work okay now in the previous video we have designed the function for bfs also now for when the user enters to we have to display the D dfs so we have entered the starting vertex we have get the starting vertex also visited array is pointing to zero so dfs we have to design the prototype what dfs will require Df dfs will require the adjacency uh, list and also the data and visited array same as the bfs okay just develop this bfs okay sorry dfs no? okay, yeah so void dfs struct node star adjacency list now integer start and also integer v visited array yeah the, okay correct way uh, now what it is very simple okay just understand what i am try to talk with you so here what actually it does is it will first mark visited of start as one first done then print the start yeah and now okay uh, yeah um, i can as i have done in bfs that okay so, so um bfs traversal is okay we as we are calling this function recursively we can print it here so we will print it here and it is not start it is uh, here it is data so just yes, okay so now what this function is doing so let's take a pointer ptr and it is from id of start yeah so while ptr not equal to null if visited of sorry visited of 
पी टी आर ऑफ पी टी आर ऑफ डेटा इज नॉट इक्वल टू वन मीन्स द नोड दैट इज एडजस्ट टू दिस स्टार्ट इज नॉट इक्वल टू नल देन वॉट इट विल कॉल द डी एफ एस फॉर दैट फंक्शन ओके सो वॉट इज दैट फॉर दैट नोड सो वॉट इज दैट नोड दैट नोड इज दिस ओके पी टी आर ऑफ डेटा इट विल कॉल फॉर पी टी आर ऑफ डेटा सेम विजिट एंड पास द सेम विजिटेड एरे फॉर कीपिंग ट्रैकिंग फॉर टू ट्रैक द वेदर द नोड आर नोड्स आर विजिटेड और नॉट एंडल पी टी पी टी आर इक्वल टू पी टी आर ऑफ डेटा सॉरी नेक्स्ट सो डन ना आई डोंट थिंक एनी थिंग इज रिमेनिंग ओके जस्ट इट इज Get um, marking the visit rate of start is equal to one. Is printing the start, getting the um, adjacency list from start. Again, calling it for yeah. So done now. Just check uh, output. Uh, yeah. So our graph two function. So what is wrong? Uh, what thing is wrong here is. struct node is in initializing cast yeah what i have done the wrong here yeah i can do this like like this but i don't think this is did or there was the mistake so okay sorry friends for the okay now what uh, now i think this function is ready Yeah, we st- we starting started this. Yeah, sorry. So now, now what is uh, wrong with this? I will just go through it. Okay. So the problem here is in the prototype declaration. Okay, it's an array. So now it should work. Yeah, now it's working fine. so just clear okay enter the number of vertices five vertices are there and i am just entering the data now no sir three and that is 1 2 1 4 1 there are two zero two two there are three zero One and three. Three. There is only one, and that is two. Four. There is one and zero. Yeah. Cool. So now you can, as you can see, enter BFS. We are entering. As to yeah, I wanted to start from one. Okay. The BFS traversal from one is first. Yeah, first it will ask. Uh, first it will print one zero, then two, then three, and then four. Okay, one, then it will go to zero, then it will go to two, then it will go to three, and then it will go to four. So and this uh, they are the printing format is just. Uh, I think there is some mistake because I have not just given your backslash yarn. Okay, um, I have to give it. Backslash n, okay. Though the function is uh, running well, okay. Now you can try it for any vertex. Let's say we are starting from three now. Okay, the th- from three there uh, we can reach three from t- okay two. Then two, it will go to one. Then uh, it will go to zero and then one. Okay, then finally it will backtrack to zero and from zero it will go to four. Okay, it is working very fine. You can also try it for uh, one, uh, one, three. Now try for two. For two, two it will uh, two, then zero, then two zero, then one. Then it will backtrack to four, and then it will backtrack to three. 
okay now it's working fine i hope now you will also you can also the implement this code i will put the link of this code in the description so you can check it off so thank you for watching this video okay so i will you meet you in the next video with the next topic